Hey, lucky us. Two hot attorneys, no waiting. <laughs> uh, only one attorney. So far, but definitely hot. <laughs> Listen, I was gonna get some lunch. Wanna catch a bite with me? Oh, um, I don't know. The trial is tomorrow, and I have like Look, pounds you, of paper. You've been at this since dawn. Go ahead, go, go to lunch. Okay. Thanks. I, I promise I'll do those briefs as soon as I get back. No, just go. Have a good time. Thanks. You, uh, haven't seen Jake this morning, have you? No, he didn't skip town, if that's what you're asking. His bags were still here. Good. That's good. So, uh, how you doing? I mean, honestly, well, this whole, you know, Bailey Stewart thing. Oh, you're really checking up on everybody, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. I am. I consider it my new job. Shaking up on friends, family, assorted others. Going that little extra mile to make sure that Pine Valley doesn't go to hell in a handcart. I thought you quit. Well, that's the funny thing. You know, a very wise woman was also very beautiful, once told me, don't run away from your problems, because it really doesn't solve them. Well, you know what, don't suck up. I never started the paperwork. Oh, thank you. Yeah, 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 all right, all right. Listen, so does this mean that you and Amanda are okay? I want to show you something. It's David's. I borrowed it. Well, who is he drugging now? Well, apparently himself. This is a Malaysian experimental drug that he has given himself for something called malignant erythrotosis. Is David sick? Well, he's telling people he's got six months. I don't believe it. I got this, too. These are his test results. It looks pretty real. Yeah, it does. But it's also the type of thing that David would love to fake. Exactly. I mean, I don't, I don't know what to believe, so <clears throat> that's kind of why I'm here. Uh, you want me to find out exactly what's in this file? Yes, please. The toast is a little burned. I hope you don't mind. No, it's, it's fine. Um, I can, I can toast you a muffin. No, it's, it's good. Scramble some eggs, throw in some cheese, but I don't know. You know, this is why I didn't want to tell you I was sick. You were afraid I'd try to cook for you? Amanda, come on. I mean, all this coddling, it's not right. You don't even like me. Possibly even hate me. Look, now you're hovering over me like you care? I'm trying to be nice. Well, just stop, please. Well, I want to help. You want to help? Then just be honest. I'm not going to have you nursemaiding me night and day, bringing me tea and taking my temperature, putting on those big concerned eyes when the fact is you don't care if I'm going to die. Look, I'm sorry. I, I don't blame you, okay? Not after the way that I treated you. I'm selfish, demanding controlling, unreasonable. Look, I don't expect you to understand this, but my father died when I was young. One day he was there, the next he was gone. So when I had a son, I wanted to make sure that I gave him everything that I had been denied, a real family. Most people go about that with love and marriage, not blackmail and prison threats. Well, I guess that's why it hasn't worked. I thought if I could put all the pieces together, I can give Trevor that family. Only problem is, a family comes with love, and for whatever reason, I can't seem to engineer that. Now, I'll be doing to Trevor what my father did to me. Look at me, all sentimental. Now, if that isn't a sure sign of impending mortality. David, I promise you, 
Trevor will be raised in a very loving home. You and Jake. Guess this means you win. Looks like it's time for me to give up the fight.